The next day, I started going to all of the aviation schools in the area to apply for the courses to learn to fly. <laughs> and they all promptly slammed the door in my face. This was not going to be easy. No, no, not one bit. But you know what? All that did was make me push harder. I read every book I could find on aeronautics. I wanted to know everything about flying and everything about everybody who was flying. I was so caught up in the possibilities that I never, not for once, stopped to think about what I was or where I was. I was a black woman in America. But America is not open-minded to the advancement of blacks on any scale let alone the unexplored skies. Well, I had one place left. Now, to my surprise, when I walked in the door, the receptionist looked up at me and smiled. May I help you, she said. Then she went on to say, Oh, you must be the new cleaning girl. Now, this... That would be the first of many things that I would have to face. But I refuse to allow her to let me walk out the door without her understanding exactly who she was dealing with. And I told her before I did, I said, my name is Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman, don't you ever forget that name, you hear me? And someday, someday I will soar over this building and your petty ignorance like I was born with wings. Because I refuse. You're listening to me? I refuse to take no for an answer. Then, like the queen I knew I was, I left her sitting there, pale and speechless. Hmm. <laughs> well, hello, this is Madeline McCray, and those are lines from my one-woman play, A Dream to Fly, inspired by the life and times of the amazing Bessie Coleman. Now, every day during this month of January, I am celebrating her upcoming birthday, January the 26th, by sharing different parts of the play and story points of her life um, because I would like for you to understand how principles remain the same. That even though Bessie Coleman's time was the early 1900s, as you may know already, 1921 is when she actually got that license. She was born in 1892 and she was born dirt poor. But this is a woman that once she became... Um, clear about what it was that she was going to do in life, she decided that there would be nothing that would stand in her way. And we can all stand to learn from that. She left an incredible legacy, and it is time for every one of us to live and stand in our own power and create the new legacy for our children and for future generations. So I'm hoping that these tips and her story will make you feel as empowered and passionate about life and about pursuing your dreams as it does to me. This is Madeline McCray, and you can feel free to send me a Facebook friend request. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if, I, if we could communicate like this back in the early 1900s? Whoa, where would we be today? Who knows? Ciao for now.